Hello everyone. My name is Patrick Fink from the Helmholtz Center for Environmental Research and I'm going to present you some of our work on monitoring the uh, semi-aquatic uh, Vietnamese crocodile lizard Shinisaurus crocodilurus using eDNA. Um, Shinisaurus is a, a semi-aquatic very rare lizard species. They live in southern China in northern Vietnam and the populations in both these countries are very much endangered for two reasons. Uh, one is habitat destruction and the other is actually a consequence of the popularity as a pet. So poaching for the pet trade is a major uh, danger to the species and their conservation efforts going on in particular in Vietnam to uh, protect these remaining populations. And to aid these uh, efforts to conserve these species in their natural habitats, we did a combined um, monitoring and assessment of the presence of these populations in uh, northern Vietnam in 2016 by both doing a traditional population census by counting manually, but also combined this with eDNA. These lizards live close to these mountain streams you can see here on the picture, and we were hoping that we could detect environmental DNA from these species uh, in water samples. So we collected water samples in the field, filtered them on two different kinds of filters, brought them back to the laboratory, um, extracted DNA and amplified a short fragment of the cytochrome B mitochondrial gene and then did qPCR to detect this species. First we had validated that these primers are really specific to these species and neither amplify um, sympatrically occurring other reptile species nor any closely related lizard species. And indeed, we successfully could distinguish in the field using our qPCR approach between extant, so still existing populations, and other recently extirpated populations at four different natural sites, comparing those to positives control from a conservation breeding program in mesocosms. So overall, we were in fact successful in demonstrating that eDNA can be a suitable tool to assess the viability of threatened populations and this could be particularly useful in terms of wildlife management uh, of species that are really difficult to access like these rainforest species uh, and where you have limited funding conditions in the field. Um, we recently published this uh, fi these findings in aquatic conservation so if you want to uh, Need, want to know further details, refer to our paper or just send me an email. My address is up here. Thanks for listening.